Today is an absolutely amazing day. My son's sixth birthday, and I'm super excited to share with you a little bit about his life, about the beginning, going back to the beginning, or why I named him Micah Hay. There's a story with this, and he may even come in here during this video. I'm just going to come from the heart like I always do and just speak on him, speak on my son. I'm super, super proud of him. He just turned six years old today, and I am overjoyed. We got a lot of things we got going on, and I know that you're probably watching some of the journey. I'll be posting a little bit more videos about our family, our life, our lifestyle, and all of that in the future. But let me go back to the beginning. I'm going to go back to the beginning, back in, in probably July, August, September of, of 2017. I was retiring from the Marine Corps. Now, as I retired from the Marine Corps, me and my wife back then, you know, when we would watch shows like this, we watched a show called Empire. Empire had Cookie Lion, Lucius Lion. It had a boy named Hakeem, and then it had a daughter named Anika. And so my wife loved Hakeem. said, well, we have a son. We're going to call him Hakeem. Okay, okay, cool. We have a daughter, Anika. I said, as long as she don't go around, just cause any kind of problems. That's, I, I said the chaos, said some other stuff. And so whenever I went in and Kiyomi was going through the visa process, so she had actually had to stay back in Okinawa, Japan. Shout out to my little bro, Edward Francois. You know, he was there. And then her family's obviously in Okinawa, Japan. She had friends over there as well. Um, so she was pregnant with Hakeem. Hakeem, hey. So when I came back over here to the United States, I came over to Texas. When I came over to Texas, this is around December, maybe January of 2018. What I did, I started thinking about Hakeem Hay at the age of 17, at the age of 18, at the age of 19. Age of 17, he's applying for a college application, Hakeem Hay. He's applying for a job, Hakeem Hay. Then I started to think, what would people think just by the name? Just by the name Hakeem, hey. And then I said, well, Hakeem, they might think that he's black. They might prejudge him. And one thing about me, and I said to myself, I have children. I'm always going to do everything in my power to help set them up in the best situations to become successful because I don't know when I'm going to depart from this earth. Then I started thinking about him. Say, well, I don't want him to be Monty Jr. Because I want him to be 10 times better than me. 10 times the man that I am. Then I started thinking about the Bible. That's when I really started getting into the word. I started getting into scripture. Then I said, there's an M, there's Moses. Well, I coached basketball in the Marine Corps. I, I did that. Moses Malone, if you know anything about basketball, there's a Hall of Famer Moses Malone. There's a Hall of Famer Hakeem Olajuwon. So if it's Moses Hakeem, Hey, they might think I'm naming after Moses Malone. No, I said, let's go deeper. Let's go deeper into the Bible. M. There's some other M's in there. My, you know, I said, Micah. Hmm. What does that mean? Micah. So I had to look it up a little bit. There's the minor prophet Micah. And that means who is like God. I said, that's it. That, that is going to be the name. Micah, keep the middle name because in certain cultures and in, in, in different parts of the world, Hakeem means wise. So Micah means who is like God. Hakeem means wise. And then you have the last name, hey, family. There's power in a name. And speaking that before he came into the world was very important for me. I had to do it because I want to make sure to do my part in order to help him. Because one of these days, daddy's not going to be around. One of these days, mommy's not going to be around. So who's left? He was born on August the 4th, this day, August the 4th, 2018, probably about 544, 545. And I was there right there. You know what I'm talking about. I was there and in my mind, I don't think I say this out loud. I said, what is that? And 
His mama has a lot of hair. I have no hair. It was a lot of hair. It's, I saw the, the head first. I didn't know what it was. Um, so baby was delivered. Michael was delivered. And I was there to cut the umbilical cord right there. And the blessing in that is every single day of his life, I've been here. I've been there. And that's on purpose. Fathers, 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 dads, do whatever you can to raise. And I'm a new, I'm, it's, I'm only six years in. Do whatever you can to raise your sons. I'm, I'm speaking on sons. Sons, the right way. I'm with the Bible. I don't push that on, on anyone. I'm just walking how I'm walking right now. But it's important because our sons are looking at us to help them lead, lead them, guide them, mentor them, motivate them, coach them, just teach them the way. Teach them things that we probably weren't taught when we were growing up. God rest my uncle's soul, my first 18 years of my life, my father figure, Uncle Harold Hay, passed away a few weeks ago. He was there, but... I say to myself, I want to make sure to be that dad that's going to always be there for my son. I'm not going to just give him things. No, 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 no. We working <laughs> in the six-year-old version, in the five-year-old version. But taking those small steps, taking those small steps that will lead to the big steps. We just want to do the hype this morning. I don't know what happened between July the 19th and now, but he gained an inch. He grew an inch, a whole inch in two weeks. I don't know, growth spurts. I don't know. Maybe his grandma had his legs. My, my grandmother, great grandmother. Uh, my grandmother was 6'3". So I just want to speak on the day, the day, the birthday. This is a celebration of life. I look at him and that's legacy. I look at him and that's a young version. That's a six-year-old me. And I look at him and I say, I can't let me down. Even though I'm looking at him, I can't let me down. I can't let him down. So the name is important. There's power in a name. Sons, daughters, the people want to name their, I was going to say an old joke, you know, names like Mercedes and maybe I'm offending with a car. Name after car. And I, I said, I, no, 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 no. Name after, I got to make sure I get this right. We only have one time, one time to get it right, that name. And people want to change their name later on in life, but I know my intent. I know my intent. And my wife had no idea. She had no idea why, but she was with me. And she's still with me, almost 10 years strong right now. And I thank her for all that she's done. This boy is bilingual. He could talk to me. He said, Daddy, you need to learn Japanese. <laughs> we just came back from Japan. You know, his grandparents over there, his family over there. And he spoke probably 95% or 99% Japanese over there. The only English is when he's talking to me. That, that's about it. And I saw his mother every day, every day, giving him a little bit, 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 giving him. Little bit, give him. And now they're in conversation in this house. English is probably spoken 25% of the time. In the conversations with us, everything else, 75% Japanese, but he could go out and he speaks Japanese and then he could flip it. He could speak to me in English and whew, Go to his mom in Japanese, and he's been doing this since four and a half fluently. And that's not on me. That's not because of me. That's because of my wife, her family in Okinawa, teaching him at a young age. And this this is the foundation building stage right now. And, and I just want to, to say happy birthday to my son once again. You may see these videos. I don't think you've seen a lot of videos on YouTube or on my channel, um, but he's probably going to be seeing this one in the future. And that's one of the reasons why I wanted to do videos like these so that way I could keep that as far as history.
So thank you so much for taking the time out. You know, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. We just went over 1 million views. I misspoke and said 1 million subscribers. Went over 1 million views. And also we're about 1,950 subscribers. 98% of the people that watch videos haven't subscribed yet. So please click that button. I'll put the description on a little bit later on. This is going to be a super, super busy day. But I thank all of you for your support. I thank all of you for your feedback and your comments because that's allowing me to do what I do and give an honor. I'm looking at my, my door, the office. God is the priority. I look at that every single day. God is the priority. Focus on the kingdom mindset. Focus on, focus on the kingdom vision. And I'm going to continue to do that. So, Micah Hakeem, hey, happiest birthday, happiest sixth birthday. Many more to come and do my best to do this birthday message every year until God calls me home. God bless all of you. God keep you. And to God be all the glory.